Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm Karina. And this is Everything But the Fairy Tale Sink. Today's episode is the Navajo legend of skinwalkers, and it'll be a little on the spooky side and probably a little on the short side. Wow, you're like having a little strobe effect going on. Are you oh, ready? Yeah, the tree right by me is like waving. Okay, so yeah, you're at a rave. I am at a rave by myself with a Red Bull outside where Grass. raves don't happen. Well, recommendations. Yes. So my recommendation is the makeup brand Maybelline. Their matte lipsticks. I use them all the time. I'm not wearing one right now, but they're mm -hmm. great. It's the 24 hour matte you're talking about, right? Yeah. The one yeah. that like is super hard to take off. Mm -hmm. My recommendation is wearing sunscreen. Just I mean, just getting we're, getting, we're getting to that time of year, but also you should just be wearing sunscreen every day. It's you good to be wearing sunscreen every day. However, if you haven't yet, just go buy yourself some sunscreen. Fair enough. All right. Shall we get into the episode? We shall. Okay. So many of you probably know Skinwalkers from pop culture and Skinwalker Ranch in Utah, which I will get to. But they are a type of harmful witch who has the ability to turn into possess or disguise themselves as a different person or animal. And it is never a term used for healers. It is purely a supernatural, evil, bad mm -hmm. term. The word in the Navajo language is, I won't try and pronounce it, but I will put it on the screen. And it translates to he who walks on all fours. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot. I, don't like. I was gonna say a lot of the images we see when you Google it are like really creepy, disgusting looking creatures. Mm -hmm. But it's mostly just a person or an animal. It's never usually like the really creepy, like uh -huh. backwards footed four walker human things that we see on the internet. Yeah, my brain is going to. I never actually saw the movie, but scary stories to tell in the dark. Oh my gosh! Okay, the I want to see the pictures that they have of that guy. Oh, the um, I love the that. The, the gang, uh, gang, jangly, gangly, gangly, jangly, something. I don't the know. something man. But you know Anyways, what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking <laughs> about. I can just picture it in my head. It is not that. That's kind of comforting. So the Pueblo people, the Ute, the Hopi, and the Apache also have versions of skinwalkers, but for this episode, I will purely be focusing on the Navajo legend, mm -hmm. because that is the most common one that we all know. My earbuds, just, they're not wanting to cooperate today. Oh no, I hate that. Anyways, so the story is that these witches were once respected, but used mm. their powers for evil instead of good, and in return, they were turned into a skinwalker they can be male or female but they're most mostly males i couldn't mm -hmm. find why but they have it and in order to become a skinwalker this is a another story just to mm -hmm. clarify in order to become a skinwalker a person must kill a family member very close to them and then that is their retribution is being turned into a skinwalker so What's the moral of this whole story here? And I guess the moral of this whole podcast, don't murder is bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless it's Joshua from the mermaid. Episode. I was going to say snitches at the fiditious Joshua. <laughs> God, if anybody just starts watching at this episode, they're going to be like, who is Joshua? <laughs> I also apologize to anybody who's named Josh and is a nice person. There are many nice Joshes. Many but nice Joshes. But not, not the Joshua the we're episode. talking about. No. <laughs> I can't believe it. Just one episode and all of a sudden we're just like, Joshua, what a guy. So anyways, after killing a person close to them, they are given the power to turn into animals. And it is often the skins of the animals that they wore when they were normal humans. Mm -hmm. And they're most often seen as wolves, foxes, coyotes, eagles, or crows. Did you say coyotes? I did. You're one of those people. What? You say... No. Coyotes. Coyotes. <laughs> it, it, tomato, tomato. Anyways. Potato, potato. Actually, if anyone says potato, get out. <laughs> We're going to put up an Instagram poll of how you say coyote. It's coyote. Coyote. <laughs> you know, my grandpa says coyote, but oh, he's also yeah, from yeah, Oklahoma. I he's it. also from Oklahoma, so... I guess I, have to, I guess I have to be kind of nice to him. 
Anyways. <laughs> I got so hung up on that. Anyways. Yes, you did. So the Navajo consider it taboo to wear the skin of any predator animal, which is why skinwalkers are often seen wearing the skins of okay. predator animals. And skinwalkers are said to be able to possess any human if you make eye contact with it, similar to the Wendigo. If you lock eyes with it, you're kind of down for the count. You just got to run and hope and pray that you survive. Um, skinwalkers are incredibly agile and said to run faster than cars and can run up to 200 miles at a time. Not 200 miles per hour, just 200 miles nonstop. Can you imagine? <laughs> no. No, thank you. Yeah. No, I don't like it either. Anyway, so skinwalkers are often blamed for struggles like sudden death and poor yielding of crops for the year. And there was a ranch in Utah called the Skinwalker Ranch because so many skinwalkers have been seen there. Right. I've heard of that. Yeah. I honestly didn't do much research into it because I figured everyone who knows skinwalkers probably already knows about Skinwalker Ranch. So I thought you were about to say I want to go. No! <laughs> that sounds like something you would say. Yeah, I know, You've but... already said you want to go to the place in our next episode. Yeah. <laughs> That's different. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so skinwalkers also hang out in graveyards where they like to dig up the graves, and Ooh. they use the powder from the corpses to poison their victims. You good there? Feel bad for the corpses. Anyways, skinwalkers are notoriously hard to hunt and kill, similar to the Wendigo, Mm -hmm. And it said that if you call a skinwalker by their pre-skinwalker name, so the name that they were known by before they mm -hmm. were turned, you can kill it. You just kind of get them in a vulnerable space and then you're able to just... Anyways, if the attempt to kill fails, the skinwalker will vow revenge and hunt you for the rest of your life and its life. I mean, fair enough. If somebody was trying to kill you, I get that they're evil, but if somebody was trying to kill you, I don't entirely blame them. <laughs> we, don't condone, we don't condone we murder don't, here. We don't condone evil spirits either. No. Anyways, Navajos don't talk to outsiders about skinwalkers. They consider it a very taboo subject to just mm -hmm. bring up anyway. And it is still so ingrained in a culture that when a Navajo, mur a Navajo woman was murdered, I couldn't find when, but the killer claimed to have been possessed by a skinwalker, and that's why he did what he did yeah. yeah interesting anyways so coming to the end here as scary as they might seem and as frightening as they might be skinwalkers cannot enter a home unless they are invited which i'm not sure why you would invite one into your home however it is nice to know that they are respectful of boundaries um like joshua <laughs> hi, joshua's just the boogeyman of this podcast yeah hi squirrel there's a squirrel very close to me. It's running away now. <laughs> it heard you talk to it, and it was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> so that's kind of all I had. I figured shorter episodes sandwiched between yes. two longer episodes because the one coming up before this is our Loki episode, which, again, I still apologize for that episode. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad, but if we do a part two, it'll probably be worse. Yeah, and then Sorry. Is this a segue and then this is this, this yeah exactly this is a segue into what's coming up next. So up next, we actually have probably one of my favorite things I have ever researched. I've been wanting to do this one since we started this podcast. We are going into the Casket Girls of New Orleans. So yeah, I'm super excited. It's actually a little spooky. Karina's bringing a spooky one to the table. I was gonna say usually I'm the one that brings the spooky yeah. ones to the table. Yeah. I'm. I'm also very excited about this. Karina has told me bits and pieces and sent me some pictures and has been like, can you explain what this means to me? It's really weird. And then I obviously don't know the answer. And then a word no longer seems like a word anymore, but I won't say the word because it's an important word to the episode. Anyway, <laughs> stupid car. No, that's a lawnmower. Whatever. What's your wish? My wish is that if you're trying to record something, so what does it start moving? The time that the maintenance guy decides to go by in his truck. Oh, are you serious? Thank you so much for that lovely audio, good sir or madam. I'm going to mute myself for the rest of the episode, so you get to do the outro. Okay, sounds good. Anyways, my wish is that 
if you are grocery shopping and you, you know, you're finishing up and you don't think there's anybody in the store and you get to the front, everybody's not at the front. You know, you're just able to not have to stand in line forever and ever and ever because I had to do that the other day. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Karina must still be annoyed by the lawnmower. Uh, she just nodded. Anyways, we're still working on the website, but who knows when that's coming up anymore. Also, I, we forgot to mention this at the beginning of the episode. We are mass pre-recording right now because both Karina and I will be moving over the summer and visiting home over the summer. So these backgrounds won't be the same backgrounds for much longer, but you will be seeing every episode that comes out over the summer being pre-recorded in May and June. Just wanted to get that out there. Anyways, goodbye.